Hello and welcome. We're gonna look at the Telematch 4 television computer games. It's an old console, a Pong clone. Back in the day, the Atari's Pong machine was really successful, so different companies made clones. It's basically a simple stick and ball game used or played with paddles. Um, okay, this is a controller, I guess. And this is one of those clones, model 7700. It includes tennis, ping pong, well, you can't call either one since you can't really tell the difference. Hockey, handball or racquetball, singles handball. So it's against the wall, I guess. And it features plays on any television, black and white or color, while the game is shown in black and white. Install in minutes. Uh, works with batteries, also works with AC adapter. It's optional, so probably not in the box. Um, three separate sounds. There's not three channels, three separate. So there's beep, beep, bonk, that kind of. Okay. Well, specifications, yeah. Normally, the newer consoles would have CPU, RAM, graphics. So this device is like operates on 6C batteries and, you know, the weight and dimensions, there's not much to say, really. Oh, well, I smell mold, so I'm going to bring some rubbing alcohol and flamethrower. Oh. There's a switcher. Oh yes, TVs back then had this kind of input for their antenna. Those were the days. Or not. Oh. Telematch 4. Cleaned a bit, I'm still worn out. That mid century aesthetic of metallic finish and fake wood panels. It's pretty neat. I don't know if anything works. Um, so, we got to figure out the power requirements. Um, operating voltage, 9 volts. Um, that makes sense, 6 batteries, 1.5 each, that's 9. Uh, center pin polarity positive. Okay, so that's like Atari 2600 uh, power supply, basically. So that's good. We can do that. FCZ approval. Yeah, anything that uh, connects to TV, I think, back in the day, needed FCC approval since they're broadcasting, technically. Um, Telematch Inc. Wonderland, Illinois, made in Hong Kong. Now, they had a company name after this telematch incorporated they were so sure okay um well let's hook it up and see if it works okay we hooked it up turning it on one two three ah. 
works. The sound comes from here, by the way. These pong machines, most of them, majority of them, didn't send sound signal uh, to the TV. They don't have proper sound chips, really. Oh, here's left paddle, here's right paddle. And then, so jittery. These are analog paddles. So if there are any dust or any kind of smallest electrical noise, then it will be jumping around. And of course there are no computers, so It's player versus player. Oh, why is it going? Oh, we got a reset, I guess. So this is tennis. Um, let's see, reset. Here we go. Oh, there is no like get ready go. I'm playing against myself, so technically I'll lose or win. Ball speed slow, fast. Oh, it's for expert. Serve auto manual. Here we go. Manual. Here we go. So, if it's manual, how do we serve the ball? There's no, there's no serve button. I don't, I don't see a button. Bat size, large, small. This is a small bat size. It's large. So, and what's hockey? Oh, this is hockey. Interesting. This is handball. Oh, matrix is glitching. The same thing about these knobs, you know, if they're not, you know, I guess building contacts properly. These are all like old analog technology. It's fascinating. <clears throat> the newer ones, it's like if something is not working, it's just black screen or doesn't like glitch like this. What's the solo? Here we go. This is the only solo game, I guess. But we don't know how to serve the ball. So, let me try to take the controller out. I think this controller comes off somehow. It says remote. Oh, here we go. Look at that, it's a wired controller. You can store in there. Um, is there any button? No button. Is this a button? Nope, it's not a button. Simple pedal control. All right, I don't know how to serve manually. I'm just gonna try. Oh, collision detection is either me or it's not perfect. It's either me or it's not perfect. Also the solo, like doesn't make sense. It counts the number of balls I missed. I mean, it's gonna end at 15, no matter what. It's not like a, there should be a time showing that how long you survived, but no. It's like you're really dumb. I'm gonna make the ball faster. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, after 15, it stops counting. Here's the angle. There's an angle switch. You can see the ball goes 20 degrees or 40 degrees. There's no physics in this game. There's no calculation of where the ball is hitting and what kind of angle it will go next. It's all like pre-programmed. Well, let's take a look inside, shall we? And I just noticed this console is licensed by Magnavox. I guess they were also in Pong business. And uh, maybe this was their clone. All right. Here's all the switches and knobs. And they're directly connected into this circuitry here. Oh, mostly shielded. Let's see if we can open that shield up. They actually soldered the shield on well, the cap. So I can't easily open that thing without unsoldering some of the stuff. But uh, here is the speaker. Um, well, I'm kind of disappointed. I can't really show much here. I was hoping some old analog stuff with ton of resistors and whatnot without much chips. Maybe I can remove this board. Okay. Where's the bottom of it? Oh, there's some rust. numbers here PV1 8500 TVG03 and the logo I can't see it right now but I gotta zoom in more later to see it Oh, this is all soldered in as well. Well, I guess we can get their secret technology. What do we do? Yeah, I mean, surprisingly, still in good shape after all these years. I would think it will crumble down into pieces. Um, yeah, so these need to be dusted off a little bit. Um, and then they should work fine. And I still don't know where the serving button is. Um, I have to figure that out somehow. There are no buttons in here. And um, there are no serve buttons on the console itself. It's either an oversight. They maybe made the clone and they forgot to include a serve button. Or, uh, I don't know, there's something that I don't know about. Taking a closer look, I don't think there was ever a manual serving feature on this console. It says to start a new game, put the serve selector in the manual position. 
Okay. It's in manual. And uh, press the on button. Well, there's an on switch here. Whew. And then it starts glitchy and with high score and stuff. And then reset to zero. Okay, resetting resets everything. And then switch to auto. Then the game starts. Well, it's not fair. One person has to push that switch and they're not holding the controller. Then they're in disadvantage. So one thing I noticed though, I'll give credit. In this scenario, like I control the bat in the back and the front. If I hit the ball hits the bat, the front, uh, if the ball hits the front bat, it doesn't bounce back because it's my guy. It always goes forward. So I guess that was a requirement for a playability, but you never know in these old dumb games. Wow. So what happens once it hits 50? Oh no, 15. It says the game is over, but I don't think it really is. Wow, I just I can't be the guy that doesn't play. Okay, 15, one more. 15, oh, still goes anyway. No game over, nothing. Realize I made a mistake closing this. This loop is supposed to be inside. That's how they prevent it from pulling to the circuit board itself. So I'm gonna have to open it up, put that back.